In this video, we're going to take a look at another of Excel's financial functions. We are going to take a look at the payment function, and the payment function can be used in two ways. It can be used to compute the payment on a loan, if you're paying off a loan. It can also be used to compute what your payment must be into a savings account um, if you want to reach a particular savings goal over a period of time. And that's the one we're going to look at here. So. Uh, here is the problem. We've got a little template set up and um, because I'm using the same template every time uh, the item that I'm trying to compute is going to be crossed out. So we're trying to compute the payment here but we'll compute it over here uh, so it stands out a little bit. And in this example we want to uh, determine how much we'll have to save monthly so that means we're going to have periods per year is going to be 12. Uh, if we start with 10,000 that would be our present value and the money is invested in an annual rate of uh, 8%. So do our annual rate here, 8%, and it automatically divides 8% by 12 and gives you the rate per period down here. Um, our goal is, um, oh, this is for 20 years, I missed that, 20 years, and our goal is to have $100,000 at the end. So that would be our ending balance or our future value. Okay, And we are going to make our deposits at the beginning of the month and beginning is the number one. Okay, So let's go over here and we're going to use the payment function to figure out what we have to save every month. Go to the formulas tab, function library group and the financial book and scroll down to the P's and choose payment and we get our function arguments dialog box here and the rate is going to be 8% divided by 12 which because I'm using this template I've already computed and so we can type that in. The number of periods is 20 times 12 and again I'm using the template so that's already been computed for me as well. Uh, the present value now with savings um, the present value our beginning balance is the sum of a bunch of payments that we have already made into our savings account. That's one way to look at it. And payments are always negative. So if this is the sum of a bunch of payments, it must also be negative. So don't forget the minus sign here, otherwise you will not get the correct answer. So it's going to be minus B2. Uh, the future value is our goal. And the type is this. And click on OK. And uh, this function is exactly the same as computing the payment on a loan. Uh, the difference is that uh, with a loan uh, the beginning balance is positive and the ending balance is usually zero uh, whereas here the beginning balance may be uh, zero or whatever you have already saved and the ending balance is going to be some uh, greater value. And again since payments are always negative we're going to get a negative number there as indicated by the red and the, and the uh, parentheses and if we just put a minus sign out in front of it uh, it'll display that as a positive number. And we can solve any savings uh, problem that you can think of simply by going back here and changing uh, these uh, one, two, three, four, five, six numbers change those six numbers and your um, payment amount will be computed over here. You never have to write it again.